one day we may have unknown president Otomar Kutis Buhari or Fulani Bandit's unknown gunmen. Governor Samuel Otomar of Benway State has been on the news again. This time he has said that someday in the future there will be unknown governors, unknown ministers and unknown president in Nigeria. The reason for his submission was based on the claims that President Mahmoud Buhari, instead of doing much to end banditry in the country, he is referring to the Fulani bandits as the unknown gunmen. He said this while fe fielded questions with the BBC page correspondent who, or on Saturday, Governor Tom said those who are bent on attacking and killing his people are known by himself, the people of Benue State and the government at the center. He specifically mentioned that they are Fulani bandits. Speaking further, Governor Samuel Autumn said that the band that the Fulani bandits do not want people to call them Fulani. He said they preferred being called bandits. He queried that he queried why the government of President Mahmoud Buhari would get the political will to stop uh Enabdi Kanas on the Igboho, but it lacks the will to stop Fulani bandits from killing his people. Although he did not mention names, however, he he accused some officials of the Buhari government in Asorok for supporting banditry in the country. Governor Tom stated that the Fulani bandits have come out to tell them that it was the present government who brought them during the 2015 general elections. Then after the election, the government abandoned them. Now they are looking for money for their daily survival. Governor Tom said after the Fulani bandits accused the government for abandoning them, the presidency has never come out to deny their involvement damn okay uh, to be honest I, I think the new not the new but sort of someone going into the inam they can sort of uh not that he's pushing for self-determination but i mean in terms of challenging the government back to back and the government of course is <laughs> the the government of course is like um what what yeah so i mean i guess at the end of the day it really is what it is to be honest um he's not lying he has not been lying he's been in the news and he's been saying things that are very much consistent so that is it i i hope that you know yeah he is part of the middle belt right so not necessarily north north like that um but still calling out the government perfect i think for that region they need somebody like him I think for each region like especially in the south there's this person that is of course not in line and of course pushing uh for the for the um accountability of the government so that's it somebody else says governor autumn god will bless and protect you for you remain the only patriotic governor in this country nigeria to uh, to stand up and defend your people and nigeria as a whole believe me as usman danfodio failed so shall this one feel woefully damn uh, somebody says this man courage can set the whole nation free moreover who is that goliath hmm, goliath goliath before david who is the red sea before moses oh all right not them hyping him up but i guess it's a good thing uh someone says autumn is the bravest governor in nigeria speaking truth to power is a responsibility may god protect you yeah i think it's pretty brave to be honest i don't what other i mean if you have people like if you have people like uh who's obviously on the side of the government and then you compare to you know samuel autumn i think samuel autumn yes and under him i'd say uh uh, uh the governor of on uh, Dolu, yes governor of Ondo state as well people have just well article have have described him as daring the president um daring the president and basically like yeah, basically, Jerry the president, because obviously he's pushing for the, you know, anti-grazing uh, bill. Of course, now it's a law, so that's it. It's been done. But then, of course, you know, because Buhari has also come out to you know, promote or, you know, bring up the grazing routes in the country, that, that that could be an alternative. Of course, you know, that is more like, okay, are you trying to go against what the president is trying to say? So, yeah. Uh, somebody here says that you have said it all, my governor. If your colleagues have been acting like you, perhaps the incompetent president would have been kicked out of that office, but because he has no business being there. 
Fulani and their stupid desire and futile operation to take Nigerian's land will spell doom for them. Okay. Um, somebody here says, Autumn, you are a man and a courageous leader. Buhari is seriously plotting to hand over to Fulani people. The evidence uh, is there for everyone to see. A lot of people are really pushing this or you know, believing and you know, going forward with this. Uh, what do you call it? With the... Uh, how do I describe it? Yeah, now uh, going forward with this, you know, Islamization of Islamization, which of course is not very, it's not far fetched, it's obviously not far fetched, but it's gaining a lot of momentum. And let's see what Niger or how Nigerians would react to future, to future mishaps or future, you know, clashes. Uh, somebody here says, truth is bitter, praise God. Uh, someone says, why is media so interested in posting things that can cause problems and igni ignite more fights and problems? Are they though? I don't think they're doing enough, to be honest. Um, but then we move at this point. Um, yeah, I don't think you can fully depend on. I mean, uh, listen, you have to stand your ground and you know know what you want to believe and what you don't want to believe because me the media can have a strong way of trying to you know, you know, push things that are not necessarily align um aligned with your you know your views and all that. So you may slowly start to think certain things. But I, I, right now, I think uh, the media is just giving out what is out there. To be honest, um, that's it. They're literally just reporting what they see. Uh, of course, Nigeria. So many things are happening. I don't even think they can report everything at the same time. But the main, the main ones are no, uh, no. The Nigerian, the Nigerian media is working tirelessly, two four seven, because things are always happening, internationally, locally, everythingly, even local government areas. Something is happening. Um, somebody says a great man. He does not shy away from the truth. I don't think he should. Why? Where are the other elected governors? And it goes into even more, you know, more stronger insults. But it's sad. It is what it is. But yes, I think the main thing is that for the middle belt, this is very, 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 very fantastic. I mean, brave. Kudos to him. He should continue definitely. His people, more, more, most importantly, more importantly, I don't know how you say it. His people are the ones that need to back him like, like, like anything. As in, be behind him to support whatever he says because he's fighting for them. So if they don't realize it, that 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 would be very disheartening that would be very demotivating that would just drop the morale down because obviously it's like imagine you're fighting for a set of people that do not even realize or support that you're fighting for them and then all your efforts everything just goes down so hopefully the people there they realize because if they realize that he's fighting for them and that you know and they start to support him of course his fire his passion and confidence will of course rise pull anything and don't forget to like and subscribe